Hey good people and welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday, it's snowing over here on the east coast, and during my downtime I wanted to post a video that was inspired by the Married at First Sight couple Alyssa and Chris. Now if you've been watching season 14 of Married at First Sight, then you surely couldn't have missed the red flags with Alyssa and Chris. Alyssa came into the process wanting to be paired with a man who had an amazing personality, but who she also found physically attractive, while Chris merely wanted to be open to allowing the experts to pair him with an amazing person. And if you haven't seen the preview for Wednesday's episode, then you missed how cold and nasty Alyssa was towards Chris on their wedding day, and her behavior was primarily rooted in her not being attracted to Chris. But throughout other seasons of Married at First Sight, we've encountered a number of couples whose marriage either failed towards the end or never took off because of issues with physical attraction. Some of these couples include Sam and Neil, Kate and Luke, Mirla and Gil, Zach and Mindy, Brett and Ryan, Chris and Paige, and the list goes on. So my question to all of you out there, should physical attraction be the top priority for matchmakers when pairing couples on Married at First Sight? And because there's really no right or wrong answer on this, I will attempt to share my opinions on both perspectives. In a way, I can see why mutual physical attraction should be the top priority when matching couples on the show. The uncomfortable truth is that both men and women are visual creatures, and if given the opportunity to choose between an average looking partner and a highly attractive partner with similar qualities, most people are choosing the attractive person, plain and simple. I think that the desire to be with somebody who is attractive is more anticipated for people who enter an arranged marriage, like the cast members on Married at First Sight, because in their minds, they truly want to take the concept of marriage seriously, but they can only do so if they are attracted to their spouse. Also, many of the Married at First Sight cast members tell the experts up front what their deal breakers are when it comes to physical attraction, and an argument could be made that couples who asked for a divorce could have had a much different experience if they were paired with people who they were attracted to. But on the flip side, an argument could be made that physical attraction should not be the top priority when matching couples on Married at First Sight. After all, anybody who has been married before or even in a long-term relationship knows that their partner's bodies are constantly going through physical changes, whether it be due to pregnancy, illness, depression, addiction, etc. And if a person is serious about their marital vows, they should be with their partner no matter how much their partner's looks change. Furthermore, Married at First Sight has some success stories involving couples who didn't have that initial physical attraction to one another, but they eventually grew to love one another and they're still going strong today. So if I were to pick between whether or not physical attraction should be the top priority when matching Married at First Sight cast members, I would have to say that it should not. People in general should understand their marketplace value, and in my opinion, once they accept their own value, they should get in where they fit in when it comes to seeking a potential partner. Meaning, if you're a 5, you shouldn't expect to only deal with 9s and 10s, and then get upset when you're matched with a 5 or 6. But if you are a 9 or 10, and you also want to be with somebody who's a 9 or 10, then you should also realize this. Looks can come and go at any time. One day you can look completely stunning, and through some unfortunate series of events, your looks can change and that person who was with you based on physical attraction is now looking for a way to leave the situation or cheat, respectfully of course. And in my opinion, implementing reasonable compromises are very important for anybody looking to settle down with somebody else. If a man or woman has issues with weight, then weight can be lost or gained. If they have issues with hair, hygiene, or wardrobe, then those issues can be changed in a relatively short amount of time. What can't be changed in a short amount of time are a person's personality and their intentions for marriage. And in my opinion, a lot of people in our society pass over potential partners that would make a great parent or spouse solely because there's no initial physical attraction to them. I don't know much about Chris from this season of Married at First Sight, but from what I've seen thus far, he has a good head on his shoulders, and Alyssa should have given him a chance to win her over before completely writing him off. But then again, Alyssa has the right to stick to her preferences, and nobody should talk her out of that. But those are my thoughts on the topic, and I would definitely like to hear what you all thought about my video, or what chances Chris and Alyssa have in staying married past decision day. Please feel free to leave your comment in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to reply to each and every comment. Until next time, stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.